Hello, hello. Uh, praise the Lord. I pray that you and uh, your family are doing well. Um, uh, glory to God. So uh, my name is Shana Benta. If this is your first time watching this video, um, sometimes I come on and release a video, release a uh, prophetic word or a prophetic dream the Lord has given me, um, and just like the revelation uh, behind that and what he has to minister to his people. Um, today I am uh, starting a 40-day uh, prayer. Um, right now it is uh, 6.42 p.m. Today is September 8th. This is the uh, last day of Rosh Hashanah on the Jewish calendar. And um, earlier today, the Lord led me and he spoke, started speaking to me about doing another 40-day prayer. I've done one of these before um, on another platform. And I would do 9th hour, 11th hour prayer. <clears throat> and um, I am... Uh, Right now it's 6 p.m. and so this is the 11th hour um, right now. And so um, I believe we're, we're probably gonna do like 11th hour for 40 days. Um, sometimes it may change, it may, you know, depending on my schedule and different things like that. But anyway, it's still gonna be 40 days of prayer. Um, and then um, I may um, not have like where it's, uh, I'm recording that day of, I may do some uh, pre-recorded, but it still will be up, one will be up um, each day for 40 days. And so um, this is 11th hour prayer. And um, like I said, I have done one of these before. I just felt led to do one. And I was thinking, I was like, okay, well, you know, maybe I'll start tomorrow. And he was like, no, start today. And it's very significant because today being the eighth, the number eight meaning new beginnings. Um, and then also it being the last day of Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish new year. Um, and so just starting something, um, starting this prayer off in the new year. We'll be praying for um, many different things, um, you know, for wisdom, for strength, for guidance, for peace, for healing, for deliverance. Um, I've, you know, done all that uh, before. Um, for freedom, uh, we'll be praying against some things, um, all types of things, uh, but stay tuned and hopefully you will be blessed. Uh, and then um, if there's any prayer requests, of course, you can list them in the comments and uh, I'll be sure to um, try to get those in, uh, either on the video or in personal time in prayer. Um, glory to God. And so um, the word of the Lord says that uh, the uh, prayers of the righteous availeth much. Um, it is uh, James chapter 5 verse 16. It says the effectual fervent fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And so uh, that is what we will start this off with in believing um, that our prayers are heard from God, that he does hear our prayers. Um, the word of the law also says that he knows what we're going to ask for. He already knows what we need before we even ask him. Um, he knows all things. He is all powerful God. He is a God that's omnipotent. He's omniscient. He can be everywhere in one place all at the same time. And we thank him for that. Um, we thank him for all of his power that he has. And we thank him for all of his ability that he, that he has as well. So glory to God. There's many things that prayers can do. Um, it can help you to develop a relationship with God. Um, it can help you to seek answers. Um, I always say, you know, God, he wants friendship. He wants relationship with you. And so you can talk to him just as you would your closest friend, um, telling him what you need, telling him how you feel. Um, sometimes even ask God how he's doing, how you feel today, uh, Lord, you know, just your heavenly father, just that relationship with him. And he'll speak to you and what you, what he, what he wants to say to you um, and the different things that he would like you to go. Uh, you pray to seek guidance from the Lord, um, to seek his will, that his will would be done. And um, there's many things that you can do in prayer, um, many things that prayer is used for. Uh, prayer is definitely a, a powerful weapon, a powerful tool that we can use to shift atmospheres, to change things. I think prayer changes things. When we talk to God, when we talk to the Almighty God, the Eternal One, the one that does hold all power, we ask him to intervene on our behalf in multiple uh, uh, various situations. He definitely hears us. And if it be his will, he will shift situations in your life. And so prayer is definitely powerful. Uh, today, we are going to start off with the prayer that Jesus gave his disciples to pray. If you would turn to uh, Matthew chapter six, and uh, it is uh, starting with um, verse nine, and he gives us a prayer. And that is the prayer that we are going to start today off with this first day of this 40 days of prayer. And so Matthew chapter six, verse nine, King James version, uh, after this manner, therefore pray ye our father who art in heaven, 
holy is your name, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. That is a very, very powerful prayer. It's very simple. It's a prayer that you can pray. If you've never prayed before, you don't think you know how to pray, um, go to Matthew chapter six um, and, you know, recite that prayer. And then, you know, ask the Lord to lead you and to guide you as you begin your prayer journey with him. Again, as I said, he is a friend. Um, he is uh, our closest friend. He's everywhere, all around us. And so um, you can talk to him, like I said, as you do your closest friend friend uh, and he will uh, definitely lead you and guide you as to what you are to say in his presence glory to god glory to god and so um yep join me again this is going to be 40 days and so uh pray my strength in jesus name glory be to god bye-bye